So what you're looking at right now is the 2014 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Now the E-Class has always been one of my favorite models from Mercedes. I like it because it's located below the S-Class in terms of luxury and slightly above the C-Class in terms of luxury. And for 2014, the E-Class gets slightly refreshed. As you can see, you have a new headlight design. Here's the 2013 E-Class. You also have a new grille design as well. So let's go ahead and check it out. You have remote keyless entry. Also new for 2014 is some new safety technologies. I have to say this one looks uh, pretty nice. I really like the rims on these. And I will show you uh, what kind of rims those are in a second. It is a white exterior with smart key access on the driver and passenger door. Has a black MB Tex upholstery interior. You also have a power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar. Let's go ahead and start this baby up. I really like the steering wheel on the new E-Class. Looks very sporty in my opinion. It is leather wrapped. You have a seven speed automatic transmission, down for drive, up for reverse. You also have a backup camera with guidance lines. And you push for park. Let's go ahead and cut on the lights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic on the E-Class. And let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. Pretty silent motor, I have to say. This one has the 3.5 liter V6. Now, like I said, under the hood, you will find a 3.5 liter V6 direct injection. A hybrid is also available on the E Class. For 2014, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class's main competitors are the new 2014 Acura RLX, the BMW 5 Series, Lexus GS, Audi A6. I have to say the E-Class is definitely one of my favorite in the mid-size luxury sedan category. Here's the 2014 E-Class taillights. Here's the 2013. As you can see, they are revised. They are LEDs as well. You have dual exhaust tips, rear window defroster. EP 
Kia estimates are 21 city, 30 highway. Total vehicle price is $57,335. This one also has 17 inch wheels. Very nice. Now coming to the armrest, you will know, notice how this is very soft to the touch and it's very nice and stitched right here. Nice attention to detail, just like how a Mercedes should be. You have your memory seat settings for three people. Very nice, soft to the touch. And let's go ahead and rev up that V6 and see how she sounds. It's not so quiet when you start revving it up. Now on the interior of the E-Class, you will notice how Mercedes uh, definitely puts a lot of attention to detail in the E-Class. You have nice soft touch materials up here, nice and padded, nice and soft to the touch on the armrest on the center console. Also I like this piano veneer trim, looks very luxurious. All soft to the touch right here, even soft to the touch right here too. You have steering wheel mounted audio controls, cruise control, Bluetooth, voice recognition, heated seats for the driver and passenger. You also have your eco mode. You also have dual zone climate control as well. All of your temperatures are controlled by these knobs right here, as you can see. There's your fan speeds and your sound. Let's go ahead and check out the navigation system. Now I really like uh, the Mercedes uh, navigation system. It's very clear and easy to read. However, you won't find any 3D rendering or buildings or anything like that. But however, it does do the main job. It directs you and um, it's very clear and easy to read. Let's go ahead and test out their voice recognition. Enter destination. Please say the house number, the street, and the town. Sacramento. Please wait. Town name is ambiguous. Please select a line number. Four. Number four, accepted. Vacaville, accepted. Do you want to enter a street? No. No. Do you want to start route guidance? No. Cancel. Now, it can be really easy to use at some times, but sometimes it will just uh, cut out on your voice, and sometimes it won't recognize your voice. Now, I really like these gauges on the E-Class. I think they look uh, very clear and easy to read. Of course, you have you, your uh, trip odometer all that good stuff and your range and your fuel consumption you also have your auto dimming rearview mirror your sunroof and your sunroof controls true illumination lighting you also have your SOS safety connect your audio you just change tune it by this little knob right here I have to say I like um, Mercedes command system better than BMW's iDrive
However, I think they could have uh, made the screen a little bigger. It is a little on the small side, in my opinion. You have your USB port down there. Mine went felt, too. <laughs> nice attention to detail. Very nice. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Series satellite radio. You also have a CD player as well. Power rear sunshade. Nice to have. Very nice to have. Your analog clock as well. You also can access apps such as Facebook, Pandora, and all that good stuff. Of course, you have to have your smartphone connected. And you do have paddle shifters for the manual shiftability. Overall, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class's interior is very luxurious and classy and um, it's a nice place to be in, very inviting. And you also have the Harman Kardon sound system. Visibility out of the E-Class is also pretty good too, I have to say. I really don't have a problem uh, seeing out of the E-Class. On top of that, you also have great driving dynamics too. I actually tested over this myself and um, I was pretty impressed with the driving dynamics. It has that classic German feel. So it's very nice to have always. And let's go ahead and shut down the E-Class. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. I have to say the E-Class's trunk is very, very roomy. You also have a 12 volt power outlet right there. I also believe a power trunk lid is also available. Material quality does follow through in the rear. Still very nice and padded and stitched back here and stitch right there. Back here, you will find it to have a decent amount of room, but don't expect it to be the roomiest in the class. It still has a decent amount of room. It's still great for a road trip car. You have dual mat pockets. Also, another 12 volt power outlet. Storage compartment. And some nifty cup holders. Very nice to have. All right. Power passenger seat with power recline. Power lumbar as well. Glove box compartment, line with felt. Nice and damp, and it is soft to the touch. So is the 2014 E-Class a recommended choice in the mid-size luxury sedan segment? Yes it is. It's a wide range of safety technologies, classic German styling, and a very luxurious interior make it a top choice in the mid-size luxury sedan segment. But watch out, there's also other contenders. The Acura RLX, BMW 5 Series, and Lexus GS tend to do many things very well that the E-Class also does very well. Remember, this is Cameron's Car Reviews, Car Buying, Made Easy. And if you have any questions about the E-Class, please let me know.